Yes, I am wearing mustard pants, but don't let that distract you from the fact that today's video is gonna be a good one. And we're looking at NVIDIA's cloud-based gaming service, GE Force Now. GE Force Now. Are we pronouncing all the letters? GeForce Now on our Android device. I think it's gonna be a really cool concept. There's a couple more publishers who are all in on it now. So I think today would be a really good time to review it and see if mobile gamers are actually real gamers. Probably shouldn't say that either. I'm gonna get a lot of flame for that. But for real though, for me, I feel like the problem with mobile gaming is just how the games are set up. Essentially, with the cloud-based gaming service, you're playing the same game on your phone that you would on your PC. This is essentially just acting as a monitor. It's the same thing. We're gonna interact with the mouse and keyboard, and I think it's gonna be pretty cool. So we're gonna test some games and see how it is and see if it's worth it. But before we dive more into the video, let's take a look at today's sponsor. Roll it. Well, it's all built. Only thing I gotta do is get Windows on the new SSD. But wait, that's pretty expensive, isn't it? I wish there was a better way. I wish there was a cheaper way. IncomeCDKoffers.com, where instead of paying Microsoft $200, you can find affordable Windows 10 keys that are legitimate. All you need to do is create an account, go to the search bar, search for Windows 10 Pro, and then you're able to purchase a Windows 10 professional license. You can use code TJF20 to save 20% on your purchase, which brings it down to about $11.89. Once you submit your order, you're able to pay through a multiple different options, including PayPal, that's what I did. So after payment, go into your profile and under my purchase codes, you can get the key where you can copy it, then go back to your desktop and search for settings. And in settings, you can find upgrade your version of Windows, type it in, your PC will restart, and then you are officially upgraded into the pro version of Windows. So some of you might be confused on what cloud gaming is, and rightfully so. How can I play the same games on my PC that I own on my phone when this doesn't have a graphics card or a processor strong enough to you know, run it the exact same? It doesn't make much sense. Well, essentially, all you're doing is downloading the app, syncing your games that you own on Steam, Epic Games, and stuff like that, and then NVIDIA's computers or servers in their data center are using their high-end hardware to completely run the game, and then through the internet connection, it's coming back to you, and essentially all you're using is your phone as the monitor. So you own the games, but they're running, they're doing the hard part, so it makes it super nice for you to be able to run games that you couldn't normally on maybe like a low-end Chromebook or anything like that, iPad, iPhone, Android, and it turns it into a real legitimate gaming station. High graphics, high FPS, and the only thing you really need to rely on is a good internet connection. So let's dive into it and see if mobile gamers are actually real gamers. Got them again! All right, sorry, no more, no more. A lot of the games require either a gamepad or a mouse and keyboard. There's really not a lot of support for like a on-screen, you know, joystick kind of configuration. So this is highly recommended to use a cheap, cheap Bluetooth mouse and a cheap little Bluetooth keyboard. Or if you have a nice one, it doesn't matter, that will work also. You're able to sync your Steam library. So if we go through here, these are my Steam games that I have here right now, but we can also search by other games. They have some featured ones here, but Fortnite, if you own that in Epic Games, Apex Legends, these are games you can search up, and as long as you own them, you can jump right in. If you wanna see the full list of games, I will show you here, and then I will link it down in the description below. You can see from A to Z, all the games, there is a ton of games from quite a few publishers, so I'm really interested in FPS games. Can you actually have a legitimate gaming experience playing first person shooters through the mobile device or is that just completely out of the question? I'm gonna play maybe some MOBAs. I'm gonna try to play some single player games. So before we get started, this is a completely free service if you want it to be. Otherwise you could pay a $4.99 monthly fee and that gives you an instant jump into the queue. If you're free, you may have to wait for a build to be free. 
But if you are a premium and you pay that $4.99, you jump right to the beginning of the queue and you can game for about a seven hour session without getting kicked off and having to create a new session and you don't have to wait. If you're a free member like me for this video, you get a one hour session. You can have as many sessions as you want in a day, but after one hour you get kicked off, you have to go back into the queue and you have to wait. So depending on the day and how busy the servers are, sometimes you might be able to play the game right away. Sometimes you may have to wait 10 minutes, five minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes. It's completely random. But the free is still totally worth it. You get an hour of gaming, then you have to get logged out before you get back in. So we're gonna do that, and we're gonna try to get an hour's worth of games here. So as you can see, we have an eight minute wait. From my experience, that's pretty short. Sometimes it goes a little bit faster, sometimes it takes a little bit longer. So once we get in, I will jump back to you guys and we'll take a look at Counter-Strike, see if it's playable on mobile, and see how many kills we can get. So this server seems to be a little bit laggy. Oh man, that is difficult. That is difficult. I'll give it to CSGO. This is uh, not easy. And it could be because I'm using a cheap uh, Bluetooth mouse and whatnot, but I was playing last night in bed actually, and it didn't seem to be that bad. But... Come on, give me a kill, give me a kill. Let's go. It's not bad. It's not bad, but you know, in, in terms of replacing a PC or playing this on the go, it's just, I would, I, I don't think it's a replacement. At least not through this. I wonder if I can actually play on screen. No, it doesn't work. So as you can see, I can enable the on screen, but it doesn't work for this game. Some games require you to use a mouse or keyboard. So unfortunately off the bat, our first test, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, it really didn't feel that well. There was a lot of input lag, a little bit of stutter, but that's not really the game that's kind of intended for. If you were to play like a Path of Exile or a League of Legends or something like that, or even Cyberpunk 2077, if you get it on Steam, you can play it on here. So let's hop in we'll try maybe like some Fortnite. We'll try out maybe some Assassin's Creed, Apex Legends. So let's hop into the next game. If you also have a Bluetooth enabled controller, you're also able to play the game like this. Although for a game like this, it is significantly harder. I'm doing it, but it's very hard to control and be accurate. <laughs> with the pointer here. As you can see, I have to click, I don't know if you can hear it or not, I have to click my right analog stick to move around, and it's just not anywhere near as accurate as it is when I'm using the mouse. The mouse is definitely the way to play a game like this, but if we hop into a game like Rocket League, which I'm also gonna test, I think the controller will be phenomenal for that, especially since that's how I play it on the computer. So PoE or Path of Exile, definitely a type of game that you could play like this, and it's honestly a really good experience. Now Rocket League, on the other hand, this is something where the Bluetooth controller will definitely come in handy, and uh, yeah, this is what you look like gaming on mobile, but it's definitely playable, and Rocket League is a game that is completely optimized for a controller, so let's hop into it. Rocket League feels fantastic. There's very minimal input lag. Give me that gold. Come on, baby. Oh, I choked. Let's go. Let's go. Go, baby. Oh, come on, baby. It's my time to shine. No, 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 no. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Can we? Can we? Can we? Number three? <laughs> That's enough of Rocket League though. Let's check out the next game. I think we're gonna try out some Fortnite. We have to, right? We kinda have to. All right, so we're hopping into some trios in Fortnite. Now let's remember here, I have not played Fortnite in a long time. My skills in this game do not reflect the cloud-based streaming service whatsoever. I'm like a Sally. I'm going straight in. I'm gonna try to get a kill. This looks like some kind of like fighting arena, you know what I mean? Like. Give me something. Give me something. Give me a fighting chance. Wood? You gave me wood? Man. This is how bad I am at Fortnite. Like, I'm not even building. Like, could be. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. No, I just get fried because I'm running around in circles. But you see, I'm terrible at Fortnite. 100% terrible. So. It's definitely doable with a controller. So Fortnite, I'm gonna chalk that up as a success, but you know, I just don't like this game, so hopefully I never touch it again, except for benchmarking. So let's run into the next game. Let's check it out. So the last game we're hopping into is Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I just really enjoyed the Assassin's Creed games. They're very popular, and this is another type of style of game that I could see being viable to play like this. So we're gonna hop in here, 
hop into my save point that I last got on my desktop PC. Like I said, I can pick up on GeForce Now on my phone where I last played on my PC, and the same goes the other way around. Another cool thing is I just own Assassin's Creed Odyssey in Epic Games. I don't even have it downloaded on my computer. So you just have to own the game, which is another great feature. All right, so off the bat, I'm already telling you, this is like, this is so sick. It, Assassin's Creed, a game like this, is 100% the type of game that you wanna play. Oh, oh, come get some, come get some. Wow, see ya. Yeah, I'm hurting though, I need to, I need to run. You need to, no, you need to run, man. No, stop it, stop it, run. Thank you. Dude, you're in trouble, oh, I almost died. I need to learn the controls better before I do that, but am I getting arrowed in the back? Yeah, I'm getting crushed. Ooh, look at this. I'm calling in my bird. Stationary. Dude, this is, yeah, 100%, like, 100%, this is so sweaty. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, like, not even, like, helpful words for you guys, but, like, this is just sweet. Like, it's just so much better than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, you know, I was kind of let down with the FPS games at first, but that's not what I'm after, so. Um, this is exactly the type of games that you want to play. Look at me boost around as an eagle. I don't want to just, like, jack up innocent civilians, but, like, sorry, bro. You're the target, man. Ooh. Ooh. I think we ended on that note. Let's get some final thoughts. So it looks like we are in a time where mobile gaming is definitely viable. I mean, I would play that 100%, and, like, I probably will go play some Assassin's Creed later tonight on this while I'm sleeping in bed or laying in bed because it's just easier than sitting at my setup with the bright lights and whatnot. So it's a good way to relax. You can either use the controller, a gamepad, a Bluetooth mouse or keyboard. It's up to you. Some games support the built-in on-screen joystick, but I found most games don't. So either use a Bluetooth controller of whatever type you want, or the mouse and keyboard. If I was gonna take this seriously, I would definitely pay the $4.99 a month and get the premium. You get eight hour game sessions and you jump right to the front of the queue. So you don't have to wait for a rig or a build in Nvidia's data center to open up. Where if you play at night, you're usually gonna be all right. I noticed that during the day when I was testing it a little bit earlier, that I was getting like 40 minute wait times. It sometimes would cut down to 30 minutes or 25 minutes, but it was significantly longer than what I was experiencing tonight. So. NVIDIA, you nailed it. This is really cool service, and I think mobile gaming is taking a huge jump in the right direction, where it's completely viable. Rocket League, Path of Exile, Fortnite, and even Assassin's Creed were, were great. There's so many more games you can test out. Grand Theft Auto V, I mean, any Steam, Ubisoft, uh, Epic Games, and then there's one more publisher as well that I'm forgetting. I'll put down below all the information you need if you wanna look on their website for the full game directory, and uh, that's it for today's video. Mobile gaming, you guys are legit. Thanks for checking out today's video. Tech miss, I don't know what day we're on. We're failing miserably, but we're trying. See you next time.